First of all, you have the ruins, which are the most spectacular of all, the greatest ruins in Central America. There's the central attraction. Yes. Then, then the government has set aside uh, 225 square miles of this tropical forest of the, of the national park. Well, uh, besides the uh, focal interest in the ruins, you have people interested in the birds, the vegetation, the animals, insects, and uh, scientists as well as people who enjoy a national park. Well, you have an yeah. airstrip here, too, now. There, there is an airstrip that was started about 1950, and uh, it was essential to the development of this project. I mean, you couldn't operate this from Muleback if you were accustomed to being prior to this. And uh, that was the, uh, the real start that made this project, project possible. Uh, you had to have an air force. All of our material, quick, must, come in, must come in by air. And water, too, I believe. Now, water, when it fails, uh -huh. we've now opened up my reservoirs and expect rainwater. But when that fails, we have to fly it just to maintain our force. Well, Doctor, you're standing in the main plaza right now, and perhaps Raul could swing around and show some of the things. Uh, would you give us a brief description of what this is? Well, you're standing right in the uh, main plaza, the great plaza of Tutal and the city radiates in all directions from you. And being the uh, nuclear center, of course, you have a concentration of, of temples. Uh, this north side is packed with 16 temples facing the plaza, and then framed by these enormous temples, uh, great temples one and two. And if you notice the concentration of monuments, which is a Maya, uh, is an indication of the importance of this zone to the mind because they erected money in, in honor of the gods of these various temples. So we, we decided uh, our first uh, work should concentrate right here because we, we expect to find at least threads of about 2,000 years of history packed in this development right here alone. And it's in a concentrated form. So we really we're, 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 we're working here first, and we excavated here and discovered. that, but by spirits you can tell a uh, temple of this sort was built over a tomb. So we started at the top, cutting from the floor level of the tomb directly downward. So it could have been the top platform, it could have been the pyramid, but it happened to be 60 feet below uh -huh. the top of the uh, temple. So we had to go all the way down and cut into bedrock, and it was built about 20 feet below bedrock. Pretty big job. It was a chamber carved out of bedrock. Mm -hmm. And the, uh, it was a major uh, uh, tomb with uh, an elderly man, undoubtedly a high mm -hmm. official in the, uh, of the Maya, placed on a wooden litter with seven or eight young men sacrificed to accompany him on his after the, the other world. That's right. And with a great deal of his personal riches and then offerings of food and very fine pottery vessels. Mm -hmm. and, uh, a crocodile was placed alongside his food, and turtles, and birds, and, and undoubtedly regular food like uh, tortillas and beans and so on. Well, that was a major operation. We, we uncovered that tomb last year. And you're still studying it? Uh, yes, we were still repairing the material because the, uh, in ancient times the roof had collapsed, mm -hmm. which crushed most of the delicate uh, pottery specimens. And now, We've completed our investigation of this Temple of the Red Steeler, and now we're going to refill that cut and solidify the whole building uh -huh. so that you'll see the actual building itself in a, in a, in, in a fair state of preservation. Uh -huh. We won't restore it to its complete uh, state, but solidify it so that uh, what is there now will be preserved. 
Well, sir, what is this one immediately behind us? And I, I um, think probably Raul could pick that up. This, this is the temple we call uh, the, uh, the giant jaguar uh, because there were carved wood beams over the doorways and the, the major scene there is a, is a priest seated on a throne with a rampant jaguar looming oh. over him. Uh, is in, in heroic scale, uh -huh. and uh, so we call it the Temple of the Giant Jaguar. Well, now, is this a, 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 a new type excavation, or have you been on this for several years? We, we've been on this several years. This is uh, in its second year, as a matter of fact. What is your staff here, Doctor? We have a staff that's rather international. Uh, we have a nuclear staff. Dr. Schiff, how long have you been exploring this area? We went again in January of 1966. We're on a year. How many more years do you personally have? Well, I personally hope to be on the project for another time. Uh, you said you were started in when? In January of 1956. Make sure. This is our fifth uh, starting January. We finished our fourth, we're on the fifth right now. How many months per year do you say, Dr. Well, we've been actually working 12 months a year, but that's unusual on an art project. Well, you personally are not here 12 months No, a year. about six months a year. Yeah. And you teach the rest of the time? No, do research. Try to write up the reports, the uh, result of the work here. What are the major conclusions of the mountains that you've made so far? Well, we now have found the oldest dated monument here uh, in, uh, that's known in my area. Well, we, uh, we believe that before, but we didn't have the proof. And that's one of our major discoveries. That's the one we just saw down the that's road. That's right. And uh, then, as we've always felt, this was a cultural uh, center of the Maya, more or less the capital from which stem the, the whole civilization. We're, we're beginning to probe that now uh -huh. and finding, uh, well, for example, right here in the plaza, we think a beginning of about 1,000 B.C. Fine. And all, all you're seeing here is the final result let's say, the apogee of the Maya culture. Uh -huh. But all below you, and building up, is uh, material from about 1,000 B.C. up to uh, about 1,000 A.D. So we have about two, 3,000 years of occupation. Well, uh, Doctor, have you reached a personal conclusion as to why the Mayans left? Yes, I have. Uh, we think it's uh, a matter of overpopulation and overrunning their agricultural potential to the area. The increase in population is fantastic from about seven to nine hundred A.D. And uh, I personally believe it was a question of, of uh, too many people for the amount of agricultural land available to them. And they went now to here to Yucatan? Well, no, we don't exactly know where they went, to, but they spread out. Uh, uh, probably there wasn't an overnight proposition of leaving here, but a gradual dissipation of the population to more advantageous places, and a breakdown of the cultural uh, organization, too. 